All kinds of flowers are coming out. The columbine's going like crazy. My tomatoes are doing pretty well. Not getting very ambitious with that. Just having a little fun. But this is the project du jour. There was this um, outdoor oven thing that's in really rough shape, but that I really like. It had a an old um, pipe here that was um, asbestos, actually, as it turned out. And when I lit a fire in here the first time, big pieces came popping and cracking off of it. So I just took that pipe out. It was really quite easy because it was so rotten. This goes to a hole in the ceiling. And this is a piece of pipe I found out in one of the barns that I just maneuvered around and got to the right size and got down in the hole. And now I'm sweeping out the old ashes and I'm going to um, play with this. I found this old piece of grill in one of the barns also. And I think I can actually cook a little bit out here, which would delight me. So I've got my outdoor sink and my little table. Country living. Okay. So... Just a little update. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more things on this stove project I've got going on. So, I am kind of dismantling it. I'm not sure what all she uh, used to do out here. The widow that lived here before and her husband used to live with her also on this outdoor stove. But they did a lot of um, home canning and all different kinds of things. So, I think there could have been quite a bit of cooking on it. And I think it might have also been used to... I burn a lot of trash so you can see that there's quite a bit of heat uh, you know damage that's that's happened to it it's quite crumbly on the inside I'm not trying to make this perfect I just want it to be able to hold up it's got this outside metal part that's kind of falling apart on the front here and so what I'm doing now these are some of the pieces that I've harvested off of it I found this piece in the yard that might have been part of this at some point cool part about buying a property with some barns and such is you've got places you can go dig around to find metal and things that can, if I can just put some kind of brace across here, then I'll be able to stack these pieces and kind of puzzle them back on top again and, um, and start my fire. This is just um, a fun little pot of all different kinds of pieces of metal and stuff I've been gathering from around the property. Um, people would like to just buy it as metal for recycling. I'm hanging on to it because I think there's a lot of practical purposes, possibly. And some of it I may play and weld together into some yard art or something. These are old handles from things. But I'm going to take you to the barn with me. I don't know if I'm going to find anything useful. I might be able to work with just what I have there. But if I can find some other pieces of flat metal long thin pieces of flat strong metal that might be useful I know the man that lived here was quite the welder um oh it's dark in here it's kind of stinky it smells like old farm animals so there's all kinds of things I'm still finding here's a big pot they probably use that for some kind of uh, food prep like all, all kinds of old farm tools down here you can't really see them some shelving, got old canning jars, um, let me see over here, a lot of things I haven't looked in yet, it looks like a piece of a jack of something, not gonna help me. just wanted to bring you in here because I want you to see what an adventure this is. I'm really enjoying it. Here's a piece of uh, metal. This might come in handy. It's breathable. Yeah, that may come in handy. There's another piece of metal that might come in handy. Yeah, these pieces might help out. See any other metal in there that I think would be helpful? This is a fascinating room. This used to be a chicken, a chicken coop. This white thing is kind of in the way. It doesn't belong in here. 
but those were old chicken coops. These things were indoors to protect them from the animals. There are um, coyotes and some wolves out in the forest here. Big old barn. Most everything in here is wood. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck in here. But just peek around for a moment. Mm. My friend up the street's doing some creative things with some barrel rings. I didn't know if we had any, and I just found some. So another project. Those are gonna be fun. There's our firewood. There's a metal rod. Oh, see, there's some pieces of angle iron. They're too long for this, but maybe we'll use those for something else. Wood, 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 wood. Okay. I'll try one more place. I cut this down the other day to kind of help blaze a trail with a big old, uh, you know, a, a sieve, a big swing blade kind of a job or do. Old fashioned. That's an old corn crib. It was in this barn that I found the piece of piping that I used to replace the old piece that I pulled out. This is, I don't really want something that I need to try to cut. It's not strong enough to do anything. This is where my straw is that I've been coming and getting to help me with my garden. See the old pitchfork in it? How cool is that? Um, that's all wood in there, I think. That's a metal rod. Oh, that's a tool. Wow. Pretty cool old tool. Those who are following along know that I've already learned that when you buy a rural property in Bulgaria, it will often come with all of the contents. And since we got a couple of barns with this, this is the second house here. That's the house that we live in. This is the second house. You know, when it comes with a couple of barns, there's all kinds of things you might find. There's another pitchfork. some attic space. Mm. This is a tool they did something with that. I wonder if they used it for a dousing rod like I saw in France, but I I'll have to ask my new Bulgarian friend what that what that may have been used for. Nice. A funky old bench. I'll be able to put that to use. Some kind of used to be a door to something. Some more. Ah, old Coca-Cola bottle. America, we're everywhere, we're everywhere. There's, um, poisonous spiders are not so much a thing here, um, nor are poisonous snakes, not totally non-existent, but I don't think, but not so much of an issue. There are some, um, centipede kind of guys that are capable of giving you a pretty good bite. I'm watching where I'm putting my hands. That is a pretty good size piece of metal. Hmm, that might come in handy. I hope I didn't just break that bottle. I think I might have. Okay. I need, I need some of these bricks too. Old sink. All right. Well, that's all for the moment. I'll show you a little more later. Hi friends, okay, so a little update. 
Um, if I could just uh, expound for just a moment, one of the things that I find about uh, traveling and, and spending considerable amounts of time in developing nations is there's a, um, like they say, uh, necessity is the mother of all invention. When, when, you, when you don't have money, you, you become very resourceful. And I, uh, I think that that's good even for those who have money because we have become very hyper consumers um, in the Western world and it's, and it's wreaking a lot of uh, havoc. So um, I enjoy doing these projects and I feel really fortunate to have this opportunity to kind of play with some of these things and figure some things out for myself and to get to demonstrate, you know, the possibilities. So anyway, so you were with me a moment ago and I was looking for metal over there in our barns and found some little odds and ends and found a couple of bricks and all I'm really trying to do is create a stable surface so I can rest things on top of it and have the smoke go through while I'm burning a fire. So when I came back, I was uh, messing around and I'll show you what I got done here. Um, I broke a couple of the bricks and I messed around with them until I kind of filled in these spots. Now I may come back later and do this for real and actually do some mortar, cover the front with um, mud and straw, make it look snazzy. I'm just kind of playing for now. But I was finagling with my pieces of metal and then I found this piece, which is really great. I was able to slide it under this loose end, slide it under here. I put another piece on top to kind of stabilize it. It's feeling quite stable. And it was right here on my path. It was it had just been put there as a surface to walk on and I looked I'm like oh my goodness there it is and it worked out really well so that's where I'm at now and then I'm gonna stack some of these guys back on top of here and clean this out just a little bit I'll bring it back in a minute okay so what I'm discovering is the floor of this is very crumbly under here and I believe it's just um, a bunch of bricks under there so I found another piece of metal and I'm just gonna put that piece of metal across here and then my top pieces are um, busted through. Again, I just think from a lot of use and heat. So I've got this piece, and I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough to, and it's pretty solidly able to rest on these pieces I've stacked here. So we'll see. So we'll see. That's where I'm at. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about how this is looking. I think it feels quite stable. can hold a pot. I can set something up there to cool. Yeah, I think. And I just put that on the back. Just actually just a little bit for aesthetics. Um, so you see here's the chamber where you can put the wood. You have a, you have a double chamber so it can breathe. And the smoke just goes shoo. zoopity dooping over that way. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to fire this baby up. See what happens. Okay, well. I've built a lot of fires in my life, but I'm still not very good at it, honestly. I know the general idea needs to be, needs plenty of air, and you go from little things to big things. So I've got some newspaper in here and a bit of cardboard, and I put some dry kindling. We'll see if it catches. It's got, I don't know, it's not looking very promising. I was pretty sure that paper was dry, but it's really not wanting to burn. I'm not sure why. It keeps hanging in there. Fan the flames, as it were. If I can just get those chunks of wood to catch on, it'll be good. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't burn yourself, Rhonda. Oh, don't go out, don't go out. Promising.
Just drying it out over my hot outdoor stove. Fun.